Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you will not miss a future video. Welcome to the channel, The Tech Piano Player Kid. A black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille. What is up everyone, The Tech Piano Player Kid here. And today I'm gonna to be unpacking and reviewing the Ocean KG UV9GX GMRS radio. You do need a license to transmit. If you're just listening, you don't need a license. This radio has 999 custom programmable channels. And when you buy this radio, it comes pre-programmed with a bunch of channels that have frequencies in them to allow you to listen to. And I mean a bunch. You can buy the frequency sheet from bettersaferadio.com. And also there is an affiliate link below for this radio, which should be now $219. But when I bought this, it was $199. This radio is five and a half watts to transmit. It is a super heterodyne receiver, other than an SOC on the chip. Super heterodyne means a better receiving quality, I believe. And SOC is not as good. Now, comparing that to the KG935G and the UV9GX, there really is no difference of sound difference receiving. It is IP55 rated, which means it is not quite waterproof, but splash proof, so to speak. So if you go out in the rain, you get rain on it, you should be fine. Just don't play with it in the bathtub. It has a 3,200 milliamp hour lithium battery. And this is a seven band receiver, but it can only transmit on GMRS, which for those of you who don't know, it's those frequencies 462, 575, and so on and so forth. You can also transmit to the FRS channels as well. It does have CTCSS and DCS scanning. I will show you how to do that momentarily. It has three programmable buttons, which you can almost program to what you wish, almost. It has a priority channel jump, which means you press this button, press and hold it, and it will jump to your favorite channel, which you can program in the menu. It does have a Roger beep, but only on simplex, which means from walkie-talkie to walkie-talkie. And this is the beginning and end of transmission tones as well. So this is the beginning of transmission and end of transmission. But on repeaters, it does not. So if you wish to have a Roger beep, the closest thing you can get to is to enable the DTMF ID call transmit thingy, which I would put at the beginning of transmission or as it has it in the radio BOT. So you know that it will be okay and you will not mess up the repeater just to be on the safe side. It is a part 95 GMRS radio. So that means it is certified for GMRS. The transmit range, as I said, is GMRS only. The receive range is where it gets very interesting. 76 to 180 megahertz, 219 to 250 megahertz, 350 to 512 megahertz, 700 to 824 megahertz, 849 to 869 megahertz, and 894 to 960 megahertz. Quite a range of receive frequencies. Now, for those of you who would say, I want to get a radio like this and be able to talk to people on the walkie-talkies and stuff. According to the FCC website, unless something has changed, the GMRS fees is $35 for 10 years, and it covers the whole entire family for who that purchased. So let's say your parents purchased it. It covers them. It covers your children, your children's children, your grandchildren, stepchildren, siblings. I believe it also covers your aunts and uncles and cousins, I, I think. I'm not sure on that. But anyone in your family, essentially, as long as you use your call sign. So if your call sign is JKPQ152, you would say your call sign, JKPQ152. As long as you say that and then anything after that, you're fine. So you can say unit one to unit two, 
or whatever, you can do that. There's no test for the license. You just go to the FCC website, which is very difficult to get around. But once you pay your funds to the FCC, they will issue a call sign between 24 to 48 hours. And whatever your call sign is, that's what you'd use. All right, let's get to the unpacking part. All right, guys. So here's the package right here. We have it in the bag. So right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone down so I can actually open this. And it's actually in a Ziploc bag. Very interesting. So I'll put that aside. Uh, the antenna is not in there. Okay, we're okay. We have a little... Uh, looks like an instructions, I guess, for the radio. Here's the radio, uh, the box right here where the radio is in. I'm going to go and open it. Because, okay, th these are the instructions manual. So we have the instructions manual. Put that aside. We have the belt clip, which attaches to the radio. Now, I don't know if it attaches to the back or to the uh, radio itself. We will see about that. Ow! Jeez. Okay, there we go. That almost flew. Okay. Then there's the charging adapter. Right here. That's the charging adapter. Sorry, that was my phone. Or my Apple Watch that went off. So that's the charging adapter. We have the charging dock. And this actually feels a lot different, a little bit bigger than the Ocean KG 935G. So that's that. The charging plugs to the back of the radio, or to the back of the charger. Um, then we have, let's see, which antenna is this? I do not know, actually. So we will see which antenna this is. Oh, geez, don't fall. And it just fell right down there. Okay, this is the, is that the stock antenna, or is that the actual antenna that I came with it? Uh, okay, no, this is the stock antenna, or no, this is the regular antenna, the smiley antenna right here. It's a little bit shorter, so I'll put that aside. Now what's coming up is the, uh, the stock antenna. Now the stock antenna is long. It's about the same height as the uh, as the Ocean KG thirty five G, I think. Right here. And this is an SMA. Uh, let me see, SMA male to SMA female. So the radio has an SMA female. You got your wrist strap um, that attaches to the radio, and you can put it around your wrist if you want. I usually don't use that very much, but if you want to, you can. Um, let's see. Where's the battery? Ah, here it is. And, ooh, here is a, the battery itself. Um, it is a, I believe it's a 3200 milliamp hour battery, as I mentioned right here. And the belt clip attaches, I believe it attaches where does it actually attach? It doesn't even, I can't even feel where it attaches. Huh. Oh, and that's interesting. It has little things on the sides that actually will attach, uh, that will click in the sides um, for the buttons on the sides to release it. Um, okay, maybe it's on the radio itself. And finally, you have the Ocean KG. UV9GX. Looks very nice. Um, feels very nice. And has diff the layout is a lot different, actually. So I will have to play around with this, guys, until I figure out what which one's which. But you have three programmable buttons. Um, the top one is the first one, I believe. The second one is the repeat, your pitch talk button. And then you have the two bottom ones. And now we got, oh, I almost forgot. I got to take off the screen cover. 
oh, I don't know what it is. It's just so satisfying when you do that. I don't know. I don't. I do not know what it is. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, the okay. Now I had to figure out two things actually. I had to figure out where the screws are for this thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure it goes right there on the top. My question is, where are the screws for the belt clip? Is it underneath the thingy? No, it is not. Is it? Oh, 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 oh. Nope, not there. Oh, give me a second, guys. I can't find the screws. There they are. So I'll put this aside. And the... If I'm correct, I believe this goes... I have to figure out how this actually goes in. Um... Okay, so it's it. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay. And then it turns on. I think. Nope. Okay. Uh. Maybe it hasn't charged yet. Okay. Let's try it now. I, is it not charged? I'm very confused. Okay. It may not be charged, guys, so that's okay. I can actually put in the charger. Um, I'm going to put the antenna on. Like so. The knobs are very tight. It has a little guard around it so you won't bump it. Um, very cool. And then has a little light. You have your thing on the side here where you can plug in your microphone um, or the programming cable itself. And yeah, there you go. So I'll go and let this charge and then we will try it out. Okay, so I'm going to go and just do a test here. I am on channel one. You'll be hearing me on my scanner and I'll be transmitting from my Ocean KJ UV9GX. Channel one on this one is one of the FRS frequencies. And then we will try it on the GMRS side and I will show you what that sounds like. And I have right now the Roger Beep on beginning and end of transmission, which is only on simplex, which means basically from walkie talkie to walkie talkie. 11. I am transmitting on my Ocean KG UB9GX. Testing 1, 2, 3. I am doing a test on my walkie talkie using my KG UB9GX. This is only a test. And that was on channel 1. So as you can hear, you can hear me transmitting. You hear that. Now, I'm gonna go to a higher frequency, GMRS channel one, or on this one, channel 15. Oh, you know what? That would be helpful if I'm in the right place. That's actually channel, G GMRS channel 16, actually. So let me go and change that real quick. go and you can hear it be transmitting same thing and now if I go to to a repeater channel and transmit you will hear that there's no Roger beep at all you hear nothing so that's because it's programmed to do that you cannot change this so what I did is I took the um, DTMF tone on channel on a uh, menu option 23, hit menu, that's DTMF transmit ID, caller ID, whatever it is, and I hit number one 
for BOT, which means beginning of transmission. Hit menu to save. And there we go. But before we do that, I'm going to make sure that actually it does. So I'm going to go back to channel one. And that's fine. So, so now you'll hear something like this. So you hear that. And that's what that does. So that is a uh, transmitting on the repeater. Now, 811 is the last three digits of my call sign. I'm not going to say the uh, first four just because A, it's not required. And B, I don't feel like it because, yeah. Um, and I will do a test in here, uh, transmitting on here so you guys can hear me. Um, I will make sure to bleep out the call sign so people won't be um, you know, nervous. So, stuff like that. And, yeah, we can do that. So... Let's go ahead and do a test on this. This is 811. I'm doing a radio uh, check. I'm also doing this, um, kind of demonstrating this on my uh, channel, a video on my channel, so if anyone is well, willing to help me out with this, um, doing a test, that'd be great. 811 is listening.
So that's what it sounds like a little bit on the, on the rip here. And I'm sorry, I had to bleep out a couple things uh, due to uh, privacy reasons um, and everything like that. But that is a little bit about the repeater um, and how that works and all the things. It's pretty cool. So that's that. And that's what the tone thing you heard, the little transmit tone. Um, so that's that. Um, I know some people could say that it's going to mess up the repeater on the beginning of transmission. Guys, it's fine. They would have said something. Um, I have to do it this way because that's the only way to know it's transmitting. It doesn't, it has a light and stuff and no other way. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, there you go. So that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, you may leave them in the comments down below or send them to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can follow and like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. You can also message me or give me a call at 913-312-1325. And if you do not live in the United States, you can use WhatsApp to message me from there using the same phone number. And if you guys want to, you can sign up for an account for the discussion forum on my website where you can ask questions and help answer questions about the assistive technology for the blind and even learn more about technology for the blind. All the links are down below in the description. And with that, I will see you all later in the next video. God bless you all and peace. The Tech Piano Player Kid is out. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. For questions, please send an email to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give a call or text at 913-312-1325. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. Black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille then fades to black.